Today, we're going to introduce the condition reporting inside of the data sources capability within Atlas. On the left-hand side, I will select the data sources report. And here we can select any of our sources that have been standardized to the OMOP common data model and configured inside of Atlas. And we're going to select any of a series of data sources reports. Today, we've selected condition occurrence. When you select the condition occurrence report, you will be brought to this tree map representation where you see a large series of boxes. Hovering over the boxes will reveal the information about what they share. Here, the size of the box represents the prevalence of a condition concept within the database, and the color represents its intensity as represented by the number of records per person who have that concept. So for example, here I've selected a box which is the type 2 diabetes mellitus concept. The prevalence of that concept in this database is 7.28%, which is over 6.2 million patients in this data source. And for people who have a, a con condition concept of type 2 diabetes mellitus, we can see that those people on average have 15.5 records per person. This tree map representation provides you a graphical display to see which concepts occur more or less frequently, as well as a general sense of the intensity. There's also a tabular view represented in this ta tab called table, which provides you the same information as a tabular line listing. So here, each row provides you the concept ID, the concept name, and then the person counts, prevalence, and records per person. Here we can see this first row shows the concept of essential hypertension, and this data source occurs in 15.6 million patients, which is a prevalence con of the concept of 18%, and on average, people who have this essential hypertension concept have it 11.3 times. Each of these rows can be explored further by clicking on the row and drilling down to the report. Here, I've selected the essential hypertension concept, and so I can scroll down to see the additional information that is made available. The first graph represents the concept prevalence of the concept of essential hypertension. The graph is stratifying the prevalence by year, age, and gender. In each of these trellis plots, we can see the x-axis represents the year of observation. Here, this data source is showing me information from 2000 to 2017. Each trellis is representing an age decile, and the y-axis of each of these plots represents the concept prevalence per thousand persons. So on this graph, we can see for essential hypertension uh, that the prevalent, concept prevalence of that is higher in older adults. It seems to be growing over time, and it seems to be relatively similar between men and women, represented by the colored line series. I scroll down further, we see a graph here representing prevalence by month. The x-axis is showing us the calendar month. The y-axis is showing us the concept prevalence per thousand persons. This graph is showing us a relative stability of this particular concept in the data source. Here we can see it is growing at a relatively constant clip over time until there seems to be an interesting spike at October 2015. Here we can see in October 2015, the prevalence is 60 uh, persons per, per thousand persons. It's important to reinforce that the information provided here is a concept prevalence, not a disease or phenotype prevalence. In this particular case, the illustration of, of the change in October of 2015 may be a reflection of the source data's source vocabularies, and in this particular case, transition from ICD-9 to ICD-10. The next graph down below represents the records for this concept stratified by their type concept ID. Here we can see in this data source that 68% of the concept records uh, come from an outpatient claim in a secondary diagnosis field, while 27% of the data is coming from an outpatient claim in a primary diagnosis field. 
we can additionally see information coming from inpatient uh, claims as well. Finally, the graph to the right shows us the age at the first occurrence of this concept. Here we can see uh, stratified by gender uh, on the x-axis and age represented on the y-axis. And if hovering over any of these box plots provides me information about the distribution of age within that particular gender. So here we can see that the median age of people who are females who receive a essential hypertension concept is 60, and the distribution uh, represented by the 10th and 90th percentile in the interquartile range, the 25th and 75th percentile. The condition occurrence report here allows drill down on any particular concept of interest in the condition occurrence table. Uh, this table allows for both sorting based on the prevalence or records per person, as well as searching for any particular concept. If I search for diabetes mellitus, we can see that the concept of type 2 diabetes mellitus uh, appears in the table, and selecting that row will again bring up a drill down report. Once the report is loaded for that particular concept, again, we can scroll down to see each of those same graphs represented consistently in this tool. The condition occurrence report is a powerful tool to allow you to understand what concepts are occurring in the condition domain within a particular source and to be able to compare and contrast across different sources that you may have available in your environment. For more information about Atlas and the data sources reporting uh, and the rest of Odyssey, check us out at odyssey.org.